Hey you guys, it's your girl Nini and I'm back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about choosing which products to review and my experience in each category. Now I'm talking about being a product reviewer, you could also relate this to creating shoppable videos. It just depends on what type of products you review, but I am going to talk to you about my experience reviewing each category and I'm going to let you guys know ahead of time that these opinions are my own so before anything make sure you guys do your own research this is not official advice this is my disclaimer that these are my opinions only and these opinions are my own but I do have a resource for you guys to use if you're interested that is also my opinions that I created. So before I get into that, I do want to let you guys know that my YouTube creator guide is coming soon. August the 1st is the release date. I'm so excited to get into it. This is a video course and I'm going to be talking about creating a YouTube channel and how to find success within it. So I am so excited to provide this for you guys. Here is the release date and we'll talk more about this in later videos. But pertaining to product reviews, you guys know that my recent ebook guide becoming a product reviewer is now available. The link to all these things is in the description. So if you're interested, you can definitely head there. All right, you guys, let's jump into these categories. We're going to talk about five different categories of products and my experience reviewing all of them. The first one we're going to talk about is the home category. So I'm talking about like curtains, sheets, and bedding. I'm talking about like home decor. So I feel like the home category, in my opinion, it has a vast amount of products. Like I just said, you could go from bedding to holiday season decor to glass. Well, I guess that's glassware is more like kitchen, but you know what I'm saying? Like home stuff. Okay. It's so many different products and I don't feel like it's super oversaturated because of the fact that it's so many different types of products in the home category. And that can be a good thing. Um, I do enjoy reviewing home products, but I would say Sometimes I feel like it takes a little bit more work and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it is something to keep in mind. For example, like I talked about curtains, bedding, things like that. It's going to take for me a little bit more effort, work and preparation to create a product review for um, a sheet bedding set than like a cup. Or something like that like it's gonna take a lot more effort for me to create a product review on a curtain set as opposed to creating a product review on some lipstick if you get what I'm saying like I've got to take it out the package I've got to set it up I've got to install it and I've got to have a lot more filming space as well so keep that in mind with home category products when you're thinking about what category you want to kind of focus on or you want to try next to review um, those are my pros and cons of working with home products. The next category is going to be one that I absolutely love reviewing products for, and that is beauty. I love reviewing beauty products because those are probably the most products that I have is in the beauty category. But I do feel like the competition is a bit more fierce in the beauty category. I feel like a lot of people go to beauty first when it comes to like what products to review because I feel like it is a very popular category. Um, I do think that you could definitely find success reviewing products in the beauty category, but it may be more competition. I, I definitely feel like it'd be more competition. But like I said, I love reviewing beauty products. The majority of all my product reviews to date are probably beauty products. I'm pretty sure. So that is the second category. Moving on to the third, we're going to talk about clothing. So like fashion, I do think this is a great category to get started with because of the fact that you can simply do try-ons. And it, I feel like with a try-on or with a clothing review, it's somewhat easier to think about what to say in the review. You can literally wear it, talk about the size, talk about the feel, talk about the texture, the way it fits on you, how you like the way it fits. Is it too small? Does it run big? It's kind of like, I guess, like second nature. Like we all wear clothes. We all know what we want in clothing. We want it to fit nice. We want it to look flattering. You know, we want it to feel comfortable. So I feel like it's kind of like obvious what to say in these type of reviews, as opposed to if you're like reviewing a lawnmower or something. I feel like you kind of have to think a little bit more about things like that because it's not something that you would use every single day. So um, I feel like it's a good category, especially starting off because it's kind of easier to describe the products in my opinion. All right, fourth category, you guys, and this is one that I don't even know if a lot of people review, but books. Okay. 
I have pros and cons for this category. I feel like book reviews could be easy. I mean, it's it's a book, but if you're going to like actually read the book and do a full review on the whole quality of the actual read, I feel like it could take more time to accomplish because books are long nowadays, y'all. <laughs> like unless they're like children books, a lot of books are really long. And so it could take you more time to accomplish unless you're just like a really good reader. Also, I'm not sure how lucrative this category truly is compared to the other categories. I do think you could be successful being a book reviewer, of course. But when shopping for a book, I don't always go to the video section for a review. Most of the time when shopping for a book, I look at the description, I read the little summary, I look at the page count, and I look at the price. I don't necessarily always go to the video reviews because of the fact that I don't want any spoilers and also because of the fact that most of the stuff that I need to make my decision is right there in the description. So you guys let me know what you think about that, but um, those are my pros and cons for the book category. And the last category, y'all, can you guess? It is electronics. We're going to talk about this category last for this video. And if you guys like this video, we can do a part two on other categories because there are so many. But for electronics, I also have pros and cons. Um, cons, I feel like this category is pretty saturated. I feel like there are so many um, product reviews on electronics and for good reason a lot of people have electronics in their house. A lot of people buy electronics. I feel like during sales, like major sales, I feel like a lot of people get their electronics during this time. And also when shopping for electronics, I definitely want to watch a video review, um, read a review for sure. I want to know more about how this product worked for others. So I could see why that I would feel like there are way more videos for electronics. And I feel like not oversaturated, but I do feel like it's a pretty saturated category when deciding what type of category to create product review videos for. Um, but there are a lot of products in this category as well. And I feel like these products are probably pretty popular. So as you can see, there are pros and cons to every category, you guys. I do not know which one is the best or will make you the most successful, but I can give you my opinion based on what I have learned along the way. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to put a similar video here for you guys to watch next. If you're interested, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you again very, very soon. Make sure you keep creating. Talk to you guys later. Bye.